So the question is, uh, is Donald Trump good for India in his new term? Because right now he's speaking about America first. So Maria, um, whenever there is a change in administration in the US, uh, the globe re-engages with the US because it's a global power. Uh, from an Indian perspective, uh, what we can say is that this sort of re-engagement is not new for India. Uh, we've seen uh, many administrations change and the Indian diplomatic establishment has the wherewithal to uh, uh, navigate these transitions with uh, relative success. And even in the last 10 years of Prime Minister Modi's government, we've seen this is going to be the uh, third president who they're going to deal with. Um, in fact, uh, fourth, because there was President Obama, uh, President Trump uh, in his first uh, avatar, President Biden, and then President Trump in his second avatar. So the Indian uh, diplomatic establishment has successfully uh, navigated these and has, uh, if you look at it, the trajectory of trials has improved at a, on a consistent and secular basis. So I wouldn't think, if you look at the big picture, there shouldn't be a problem in navigating these. Uh, yes, uh, given that it's uh, President Trump, there are some uncertainties, uh, which we all need to be uh, uh, knowledgeable about and need to take into account. And these are not new. These are trends which we noticed in his last um, uh, uh, administration, and they're likely to be accentuated in the second administration. So what are these? Uh, these are, number one, um, greater access on tariffs. Hmm. Now, uh, uh, big countries like India have the ability to uh, give and take in diplomacy, and they can navigate it. But uh, given that it's a Trump administration, there will be uncertainties, unpredictability. Uh, also, given that India doesn't have a trade agreement with the US, it is possible that the uh, fluctuations will be higher. So that's one area of tariffs and trade. Another area, perhaps from an Indian perspective, could be migration. Uh, again, uh, we don't know what are the contours of President Trump's migration uh, uh, approach. While he has said it, it will target illegal migration, but we have seen in the last term that even regular, uh, steady, predictable migration was affected in terms of H-1B visas and other types of visas. So it's a possibility that given the uncertainty, there could be an impact on migration. A third uh, issue will be a uh, possibility that of uncertainty again uh, in terms of um, uh, areas of cooperation uh, uh, through multilateral arrangements or minilateral arrangements. Uh, while, yes, President Trump was the one who revived the Quad, generally he is averse to um, alliances and arrangements of a nature uh, which are large. So we will have to look at it, but I don't think there is anything from an Indian perspective that we need to be worried about uh, because... Uh, the Indian diplomatic establishment and U.S. converge in interests. And that's perhaps the most important thing. Once there's the convergence of interest, it will perhaps help you to tide over okay. issues. One last thing in terms of uh, uh, President Trump, which perhaps is slightly better from an Indian perspective than uh, the present administration is, that President Trump is not one to focus too much on values. Now, when Eastern and Western societies uh, engage, it's normal that our perspectives will vary and uh, it will be imbued by divergence in terms of values. Uh, that's not something that Trump would emphasize on given his past record. So I would think there would be less glitches on that front, more on interest, and there is a convergence of interest. So I see the ties only increasing rather than diminishing. Okay. Okay, you know, when there was that transition which happened from Donald Trump to Joe Biden, there was a lot of skepticism, particularly uh, we, what we had seen was uh, a personal bonhomie and, and great personality-driven foreign policy 
bet between Prime Minister Modi and Donald Trump. Right now, again, it's the return of Donald Trump. But the question, as you said, uh, is, Ambassador, that uh, this is a new avatar of Donald Trump. Uh, we really do not know the new avatar. What does it mean? But there has always been that Trumponomics, which has been very pro-India or transactional in nature, which worked during the first four years. Yes, you're right. Um, uh, President Trump's foreign policy is much more uh, individual driven and personalized in um, terms of engagement with global leaders. But then um, I think uh, given the track record and what President Trump himself has repeatedly said, that he regards Prime Minister Modi as a friend, he regards him as a strong leader, he regards um, uh, the ties with India as a priority. Um, it's not a challenge for countries like India because I think we are in a good spot there uh, given the uh, personal chemistry between the two leaders. And India as a country should not be wary of that. But there may be others who would have a challenge. I don't see that again as a factor that could impede the growth of Indo-US ties uh, in the second Trump administration. But that said, the caveat always is unpredictability of uh, President Trump, uh, although he hopefully, has mellowed, matured during the last four years. Uh, and we hope that some of these uh, creases are ironed out. My last question to you, uh, you know, most uh, analysts and watchers of Donald Trump say, do not take Trump at face value. What are your thoughts? So you're right. Um, and I would um, uh, uh, agree with that. Having said that, I would also say we need to watch what he does rather than what he says. Hmm. Um, uh, there are um, uh, usually most of us go by what is said. And uh, President Trump is known to say things that many of us found, find difficult to digest. But what he does is perhaps more calibrated. And we've seen that in the last uh, term also. We've seen that in the um, uh, course of this campaign. And we hope that we need to be, as countries, we need to focus on our interests. We need to focus on what the U.S. under Trump does, rather than to be carried away, either way, on what is rhetoric. There is a difference uh, in that, and I'm certain Indian diplomats and decision makers are used to that. They know what to listen to and what to look the other way when they are not comfortable with some of these things. All right, Ambassador Akbaruddin. Thank you for your perspective and uh, thoughts on the big fight tonight.